Core Crew, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Courtney Janine, and I'm back with another wig review. So, Outtry has been coming out with so many new melted hairline collection wigs, and today I'm reviewing one of their newest ones, which is Miss Harper. I picked up in the color 1B, so I'm super excited. Melted hairline collection. The melted hairline collection by Outtry is one of my favorite. Outre is, I think, my favorite synthetic wig brand, um, and their Melted Hairline collection is my favorite collection out of all of them. I've had so many great experiences. My favorite is definitely Natalia or Kamaya, but I also did review um, Martina here on my channel in two different colors, 1B and Ginger Brown, and I also have included their Outre Melted Hairline collection in Liliana and one of my full Get Ready With Me, so definitely check out those videos if you haven't. But today we are going to be diving into Miss Harper. So she is a side part. If you are new here, then you might not know this, but even my middle part wigs, I usually turn into a side part just because I do have a widow's peak, which makes it 10 times harder to try to um, melt down a middle part wig. So let's open this up. Here is the stock card for Miss Harper. She comes in a number of special colors. She comes in ginger brown, golden honey, cherry red, cinnamon mocha, hazelnut honey, and strawberry gold. Ooh, the hair is similar. It's not as um, silky as Natalia was, but it's not as... Ooh. Oh my gosh, she's cute. I wish she had just a little bit more layers just because I feel like there could be a little bit more um, like body if it had a little bit more layers, but it's a really cute wig. So this is what the hairline is looking like. Again, it is a side part um, and it comes with one comb in the back, an adjustable strap, an elastic band, and two combs in the front. Um, and another thing about this melted hairline collection is that it kind of gives you the frontal effect. It is only lace all the way back with the parting, but they do give you a little bit of lace around the hairline so you can really get that melted if you like. Usually I don't melt it down all the way. I usually just melt it um, where the part is but anyway the lace it's too light honestly for me so I'm going to have to go in with a bit of um tint and to tint my lace I usually go in with the airbrush legs by Sally Henson and medium glow and I just like loosely spray that so I'm gonna give this a spray and I like to do it far so that it doesn't get on the actual hairs of the wig but it's sure no fear, it ain't safe out here, but she's still gonna hold on. It ain't safe from here, but she doesn't run from right here. Lost guns, drugs, violence, lost guns, drugs, violence. Ooh, I'll let you go. portion of this wig review um, but now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty should you get her should you not what is my final verdict first of all let's start with my cons um she did give me a bit of trouble with um, the lace um, to be honest just a little bit but I think I got her pretty melted um, the only thing is that my spray that I use the bedhead spray kind of has this white cast so if you see that that's why um, and I tried to put over foundation and powder over it but it's still just a little bit white but in person it looks fine I don't know how it's picking up on camera um, the second con is just the um, the style, I did brush her out. She had a bit of, you saw with the styling portion, it was more curls, but when I just brushed through her, it kind of is just giving me a wavy type of look, which is how she is described on the website. I would say if you would like it to stay a little bit more curly, then don't necessarily brush the hair. Maybe just go through it with your fingers so that it's not too defined, but it's also not fully brushed out like this where it's not much like definition or pop to it. Really wished if 
they could have cut a little bit more layers into the hair just so that I get more body and volume but other than that I think that this is a really cute wig so let's get into my pros so the pros is definitely the side part you guys know if you're new to my channel or if you have been here before then you definitely know that with all my wig reviews if it does have a part in it I'm usually turning it to the side because of my widow's peak my widow's peak makes it so hard to um, lay down a wig with the middle part so I always end up shifting it and then I always have to deal with the fact that the hair is cut a certain way so one side is longer than the other it's a lot so the fact that this already came as a side part you guys know I was so happy I was so happy I really do really like this hair because of that of course the muscle hairline collection there's nothing new you guys know they come with a pre plus hairline which makes it so easy for beginner um, wig wearers because you don't have to do any plucking it is HD transparent lace but what it really is is that it does give you a nice foundation for you to go in with any tint um, and tint the lace to your liking so I just went in with the Sally Hansen airbrush legs in medium glow and it is literally my perfect color um, to blend my wigs in. I feel like the Melted Hairline Collection is the perfect wig for beginners, honestly. And there's so many different wigs. I have so many of these Melted Hairline Collection wig reviews coming out because they've been dropping, I think they just dropped five new Melted Hairline Collection wigs. They dropped Miranda, which I have coming. They dropped Serafina, which I have coming. They dropped Xandra, which I have coming. And they also dropped a wig called Rosalind. So be on the lookout for those wig reviews because they are definitely coming. And I know you guys want to know the scoop on all the new Melted Hairline Collection wigs by Outre, so I'm going to give it to you. All in all, I think that this is a great beginner wig. And at this point, I think that Outre has kind of released a wig for everyone whatever style you want for me i would have probably liked if this wig came out during the kamaya because this is really giving me outre kamaya vibes just it has a different texture which i do actually like i feel like kamaya is very much so yakky similar to martina she's a yakky but this is not as silky as natalia but it's not as yakky it's like a it's not silky it's like you know what it is it's silky but it doesn't have the extra sheen that i felt like natalia had which made it look a little bit wiggy but this has like a kind of natural sheen to it so it looks a bit more natural but it has the length and um the body that kamaya had so honestly you guys you cannot go wrong with a melted hairline collection wig it's just the matter of fact of you choosing which type of style you like so if you like this style i say definitely go for it if you've tried the other Melted Hairline Collection wigs, then you definitely will like this one as well because you know what you're getting with the Outre Melted Hairline Collection. You know you're going to get some bomb lace. You know you're going to get some pre plucked hairline. You know you're going to get some quality hair. Um, so, yeah, those are my final thoughts. Let me know down in the comments if you are picking up Miss Harper. What are your thoughts? I picked her up from Wig Types. She came in one day, you guys. I believe I ordered her yesterday. She came today. And I didn't have to pay for any extra shipping so wig types shout out to you i love you all um you guys always come in clutch especially when i'm doing my wig reviews um and yeah you guys let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts on the muscle hairline collection as a whole let me know in the comments if you are picking up miss harper let me know your thoughts and if you will be copying do you think she reminds you of kamaya um i will have all of my other melted hairline wig reviews down in the description box so if you would like to see one of my other reviews on this collection then definitely check it out and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys